Hi, I'm Matt with Northline Express. And we're here today to, to demonstrate the function of, of the woodchuck tool. What the woodchuck tool is used for is to lift logs up to 20 inches in diameter up off the ground so that you can saw them with a chainsaw without binding up or running into the dirt. You can also use, be used to roll the log and, and move it around so you have much greater leverage than just moving by hand. The product is made in the USA out of aircraft aluminum and powder coated stainless steel. The handle carries a lifetime warranty while the remainder of the parts have a five year warranty. And now I'll show you how to assemble the woodchuck. As you can see, we've, we've, uh, we've just took it out of the box, the back of the truck. Um, I just have an adjustable wrench and we'll start off first here with the hook. And the instructions are also attached right to the handle in case you're searching for them and can't find them. Um, just crack this loose. This slides right through here. Snug that up. Next, we're going to install the platforms here. These have carriage bolts. The longer of the two is positioned in the front and it just slides in like so. Now we're ready to, to give it a try on a log. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the woodchuck tool in action. As you can see, we've brought it back here to a, a tree that we've, we've just dropped and are processing for firewood. We've got a fairly decent sized log here, probably about eight foot in length and 14, 16 inches in, in diameter. It's got a good bite on here with the hook. It's into the, it's into the log and as you can see, we're not really on even ground. There's a lot of leaf litter and, and other debris here. So uh, we'll test it with that. And just get ready and just kind of pull it over and let it set. And there it is. It's not going anywhere, even without me keeping my foot on the handle. It's very sturdy. One thing I do recommend though, when cutting, is to stay on the side of the handle. That way, if the log was to let go, it's not gonna to roll towards you. You've got that handle stopping it from coming backwards. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, cut, some, cut some firewood off from here. see that ended up working out pretty good setting it up right in the middle of that uh, length log I was able to to cut that up into manageable sections without without moving the tool 
Um, definitely saved a lot of my back and, and body from trying to leverage that log around or get it up onto something so I could cut through it freely. And it definitely saved time in that manner as well. Uh, not to mention not binding up my chainsaw or running it down into the, into the soil. Now I'll release the tool and on to the next. You know, compared to first time using this, compared to a lot of other log rolling tools and, and things that I've used in the past, I can see the, the vast advantages to this. Uh, number one being the materials it's constructed of and it's, it's pretty rugged. It really is. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a beating and, and, and not rust uh, even if left out in the back of a truck or anything in the rain or used in, in wet woods. Uh, you know, and it, it just getting that log up off the ground makes a big difference. It really, it really makes for a cleaner cut and just all around safer and better. Uh, being able to to move the log so that you're you're not running your chainsaw into possible kickback areas. It's just uh, it, it's a it's a very handy tool. Um, thank you for your time and and watching our video.